Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I've made a drawing for a client, as you can see. There's a sluice and a cabinet. Now, I've made the dimensions, top view and front view. But when you realize some dimensions are overlapping and font size is too large so I'm going to show you how I went ahead and did the editing so the first step go to settings city settings icon click now go to document properties select dimensions we are going to start with font click font click on century Gothic and type times new roman times new roman then go to points not units just points six points click ok primary precision we give it none Now arrows, the size of the arrows were too large, so I reduced to 0 0.4. Internal dimensions, 1 mm. Keep them at 1 mm. Then arrow style we can change, but for my case I'll retain as this one. Then go to leader length. Give it two. This offset distances. can uncheck annotation view give it two three now click ok you see what has happened the dimensions have been reduced now I can adjust them and ensure they are at the center of the dimension line a quick forward of what I did now according to ISO standard internal dimensions should come before the overall dimensions so you see this internal dimensions 500 500, 400, they come before overall dimensions of 26, 35, and try as much as possible to retain them in the same line. They should be in straight line, this one straight line, this one, and also this one should be in straight line. For the case of this one, internal dimensions should always come first. And your text should be re uh, retained at the center of the dimension. Such. And then when dimensions are a bit faded, you can select all. Just click Ctrl A. Select your dimensions. And 
uh, on the left there is value leaders and others click on others and then layer select format just click ok thank you for watching my video i hope you have learned something if you are new to this channel please subscribe because it means a lot to me see you in the next video